Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile for my Shadal Invoke that I've been playing the Fusion Festival with. Now, I am a bit late, but before I was playing a really weird Invoked deck with like a lot of really bad choices. I think I was running like 10 traps just because I didn't have the gems to make the cards that I wanted to play. Uh, so I went ahead and played the Fusion Festival, got the gems, and started crafting the Shadal cards and buying the Shadal pack to try to get a lot of these cards. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll go over the deck list real quick and then I'll go over some of the cards uh, afterwards and then I'll have a duel at the end as well. Also, go ahead and leave in the comment section down below what you guys have been playing in the Fusion Festival. Always nice to see. So starting off, one Shadal Falco, one Kaios, two Hedgehog, 2 Ash Blossom Joy Spring, 3 Windy, 3 Squamata, 1 Dragon, 2 uh, Denko Seca, 1 Celestial, 3 Invoker, 1 Aerial, 1 Beast, 1 Dasher, 3 Fusion, or Shadal Fusion, 2 Pop of Desires, 2 Invocation, 2 Fusion Destiny, 2 Meltdown, Two Forbidden Chalice, one El Shadal Fusion, two Twin Twister, one Incarnation, and one Schism to run off the main deck uh, for the extra deck. Uh, now, in a normal build, I would be running Links, of course, but since this is the Fusion Festival, I just packed it full of fusions. Um, so we got two Winda, one uh, Ryzen, one Windigo. One Apcalone definitely could run that at two, uh, just didn't have the points. Uh, one Purgatrio, two Construct, or three Constructs, sorry. Um, one of the Earth Invoked Monster. Uh, two Agoides, one Destroyer, one Anoiteles, and one Mechaba. Definitely should run two Mechaba, uh, take out the Earth Fusion for sure. Uh, to replace it, but I just don't have the cards like I was saying. Uh, again, you can replace Anoiteles with uh, another one of the App Clone. Uh, just threw it in because I didn't have the points and I need some extra fusions. Um, then the Destiny Destroyer, of course, just a disgusting card. Being able to pop um, pretty much whenever and it comes back, it's just a big pain once you have an established board. Uh, this card alone really can win games, it's ridiculous. Then two Agoides, like I was saying, uh, you can replace it and put in uh, something else or keep it at two, it's not that bad. Uh, being able to be a free pop and uh, then you can banish a fusion to give it big attack uh, can be very nice. And like I said, just going to replace this, not very helpful. Just again, throw it in there because I didn't have anything else. And uh, sometimes there's some earth monsters in the graveyard, so might as well. Um, then the Construct, of course, very strong, uh, being able to send Shadal cards from the deck, and then once it goes to the graveyard, you get to add a Shadal spell or trap, so you can usually get your Schism back, and just get more plays from there. All around a solid card, and it destroys any special summon monster at the start of damage step, so very, very strong. Uh, the Purgatrio, being able to attack everything, gaining 200 for every card your opponent controls, can be crazy. Then Apcalone, a permanent negate, and again, definitely run it at two, if you have the points and have the card, of course. Um, a permanent negate, when it goes to the graveyard, you get to add a Shadal card and then send one to the graveyard, so you can definitely add Schism, and then send one of your Shadal cards to get their effects. Uh, very nice. Windigo, uh, really shouldn't be playing this, but um, another target for Wind, and it has a pretty nice defense. Um, and then you get to protect a card, then Raijin flips a card face down, of course, and then Winda locks your opponent down, which can be very, very strong. For the main deck, of course, we got the Schism. Uh, kind of a dead draw sometimes, especially if you don't have a lot of Shadals or a way to get Shadals to the graveyard, but being able to fusion summon on your opponent's turn is incredibly strong, going into Winda, and it, the fact that you get to send a monster with the same attribute as the fusion monster you bring out is crazy strong. 
and then one incarnation. It comes up sometimes, being able to special summon a Shadal from the graveyard is very, very strong. But if you have Wind on the field and you fusion summon prior, um, it can be dead. And then you can banish it and a Shadal monster to flip a monster face up. Uh, or when your Shadal monsters face up, so you can get their effects, which is pretty cool. Then two twi Twister, of course, for back row hate. And only the one Al Shadal. Um, like, it is a very strong card. Uh, but if you don't have the monsters to like actually go into any of the fusion cards, it can be dead. Um, so you can actually put this at two, and a card that I forgot to mention that you definitely, definitely need to run in this deck is Super Poly. You could take out um, maybe the Twin Twisters or the Denko Sekas for sure, uh, and run something else. But yeah, uh, El Shadal is nice, it's just I didn't want to see it too much. Uh, then the two chalice, if you don't have droplets, this is a very nice alternative. Uh, it's actually really strong. A ton of cases where I was facing down two interruptions or two negates, and I was just able to throw down the chalice and get rid of them. Then the meltdowns, of course, protects your fusion summons. Um, fusion destiny, get out DPE, very nice. Invocation, uh, do your Alistair plays. Pop desires for that drop power. Shadal Fusion, very strong if your opponent controls a fusion or an extra deck monster, uh, in this case a fusion monster, just being able to send the material from the deck. The unfortunate thing is, is it can get ashed no matter what, even if you're trying to fusion summon from hand, it can still get hit with that ash, so very unfortunate. Of course, Dasher and the Celestial dead draws, but you need it for DPE. Beast for that draw power. Aerial, uh, being able to banish cards from the, either player's graveyard, very nice. Uh, you can hit DPE and stuff. Alistair, one card combos, usually. Um, and then Danko Seca, just to lock down back row and light targets, but you can definitely put in Effect Veiler instead. Dragon to pop back row. Let's go modded to get your graveyard filled up. Windy for those extra special summons. Of course, Ash for the negates. Uh, Hedgehog, getting to add a spell or trap when it's flipped, or a monster when it's sent to the graveyard, just more material. Uh, Chaos just for the light target and a Shadal name and Falco just for those spams So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll be cutting to the dual video and until next time. I'll see you guys later